Ah, uh, hurts so good. Moving like the speed of sound. We can keep on the ground. What's going on, my aesthetic addicts? Every member gets aesthetic here, just doing a little bit of foam rolling, as you can see. Uh, so basically, since today is Wednesday, that means that on my program that I do, it is a back and core day. So I'm just gonna get that done. I have, so in the last video that I put up, I hit a huge PR of, I think it was 485 pounds on my deadlift, which was, that was nuts. I did not expect to pull that, but I did, so that is just fucking awesome. Since doing that, it has absolutely motivated me to constantly throw deadlifts into my lift. So, hold on, let me talk to you guys. Stop film rolling. So since doing that, it has completely motivated me to just really keep deadlifting, really try to bring my strength up on that. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so right now, pretty much every Monday and Wednesday, while I have the time to do it, I will actually throw a set of probably about a 5x5 five five of 315 of deadlifts. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing today. I'm going to take you guys through it. I don't know if I'm going to do any commentary or not. Uh, I might just kind of show you guys my workout, put some music to it and whatever. You know, Hopefully you can get a little bit of motivation from it. But guys... It is two weeks until Memorial Day, and I know a lot of you guys are not in the U.S., but if you are in the United States, Memorial Day is like the day where all the public pools open. It's essentially the unofficial first day of summer, and I know that I wanted to be in the best shape as possible, which is why I am intermittent fasting. Let's see, right now it is... 1147 so I am intermittent fasting right now I've not eaten since 10 o'clock last night and aside from a protein shake I will not eat until about uh, maybe five or six you know depending on how long I can stretch that fasting period so that's pretty much what's going on in my life um, so I will see y'all when we're on way to the gym What's going on my aesthetic addicts? Well, I do hope I'm trying this new little uh, phone mount that I have here. Um, if you know me, you know I pretty much just use my phone to record all my videos. So, I'm just headed to the gym right now. Oh, I don't have my seatbelt on. Lock that in. Boom. So, yeah, pretty much uh, right now, I've just got two scoops of the Optimum Nutrition Gold Set. I'm very excited about it. I think two scoops on an empty stomach is gonna do me really well in the gym. Uh, after I take that, I've got some cocaine right here. No, just kidding. It is uh, two scoops of BCAAs. Now that I'm intermittent fasting for a few more weeks, I'm still taking BCAAs. Uh, two scoops while I'm in the gym just kind of gives me a way to uh, stay energized, stay focused in the gym, and give my muscles kind of something to feed off of. After that, I've got yet another baggie. Y'all true aesthetic addicts should know what this is. This is just two scoops of the cookies and cream uh, whey protein from Muscle Farm, their combat whey. Honestly, guys, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Honestly, just one of the best tasting, one of the best whey protein blends I've really ever had. So like that, I'm gonna sip on this just for a little bit. Mm. God, that stuff is seriously awesome. It just tastes like high C. It gives me great focus. But anyway, I'm going to close this out. And I'll see you all in the gym. Alright guys, so pretty much today is just not kind of starting out to be my day. Uh, this is what happens when you bring two almost identical baggies with you and you accidentally pour some of your whey protein into your shaker cup when you still have some pre-workout because you thought it was your BCAA baggie. Um, 
This is gonna be some of the most interesting whey protein I've ever tasted in my life. But as an effort to not waste any, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I'll see you guys in the gym.
again, boys and girls, that is the workout. I am feeling pretty good about it. Um, I definitely was able to complete the five by five of deadlifts, which I, which is basically what I was trying to do. Let's get that here. Um, so pretty much that I am super stoked about. So I did a, like you saw, I did a five by five on my deadlifts because I am, I'm addicted to getting stronger on my deadlifts guys. It's just as simple as that. Um, I just really want to get to that five plate club and I think I'm extremely close to it, especially uh, after last week hitting that PR of 485. I'm very happy with my grip strength of the five by five uh, because I did have 315 on the bar and I was able to hold it and I even made sure to hold it a little bit on the last rep just to, you know, just to work it out and just to kind of put my grip strength to the test. Um, I do think I'm going to bump up the weight here for my, five, you know, for the deadlifts because I was able to get, not that it was easy, but I was able to get the entire five reps for each set. Now, usually when I'm trying to gain strength on something like a squat or a deadlift and I'm doing it for a five by five, I will try to make it so I pretty much get close to failure on my third or fourth rep. That's kind of my body's way of letting me know that that's it, it's done, you, uh, you know, you, you're not strong enough to go past that. So I think I'm going to bump it up to 335, mainly because boys and girls, you just kind of have to, you have to push yourself past where you think your limits are. And I mean, that's really in all facets of life, but really in the gym, because if you never test yourself, you'll never get stronger. You'll never give your body a reason to get, you know, to gain size, to get stronger. If you're constantly just happy with where you are. So pretty much that's it. I've got two scoops of combat here. Um, I was, you know, in regards to my other lifts, I'm very happy about it. I definitely got a good burn in my back. Go ahead and try that routine out for yourself. I'm gonna close out the video and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. I might get some high intensity interval training in when I get home. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for subscribing at those that have. Do not forget to like this video, comment below on anything and everything, and I will see you all, my aesthetic addicts, in the next clip. Peace.